Right, now let us look at this question. A contact lens has an outer convex surface of radius 5cm and the inner concave surface of radius 6cm. The refractive index of the lens is 2. Determine the focal length of this lens. State whether the refracted ray from this lens is converged or diverged. Is it a converging lens or diverging? Explain. Okay, so uh, first of all, what is the shape of this lens? Okay, assuming this diagram is not given. So, uh, contact lens. Contact lens, uh, you, can, you can imagine. Contact lens is like, you know, let's say we have our eyes. Our eyes, this is our eyes, yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're looking uh, direction. So, our lens is uh, well, something like this. Lah. Lens, turn on. This is our lens. So it's a like convex meniscus. Lens is like convex meniscus. So that's why we can say uh it has a from here it has a outer outer convex. Yeah, outer convex. Then look from the other side, from this side, it has an inner concave. Uh, like this lah. Okay, outer convex, inner concave. Okay, so it's something like this. Outer convex, inner concave. So, um, why why is not uh the other uh, the other one like uh what we say like the concave meniscus? Why is not why is not like what do you say like this? Why is not this one? Why is not this one? Uh, because of the radius, radius. Because he said this the outer convex uh, here inner concave. Okay, the outer convex has a smaller radius. Uh, inner concave has a bigger radius. You see, five this one smaller radius five cm. This one bigger radius six cm. Smaller radius means smaller sphere. Bigger radius means the bigger sphere. So you you can you can look at yeah I already teach you about this you before about this one the difference between uh, convex meniscus and concave meniscus in summary summary three part three okay uh, you see like uh, convex surface uh, it has a smaller sphere the concave surface have a bigger sphere that's why yeah? if the concave meniscus the concave surface has a smaller sphere but the convex surface has a that's the difference between the two convex meniscus and concave meniscus so um, this one, you say the outer convex is a smaller sphere. That's why it's more curve. More curve means smaller radius uh, or smaller sphere. I can draw for you. I can draw for you. Uh, no? This is the uh, convex surface. Convex surface with smaller sphere. Only 5 cm. And the concave surface. Inner concave have a bigger radius. Bigger radius means bigger sphere, uh, less curve. It's less curve. Sorry, it is uh less curve. Has bigger radius lah. Then, uh, more curve, smaller radius. Big curve, bigger radius. Big the this one the red one is a uh, M. Okay, bigger radius. Then the more curved one, the convex surface, smaller sphere, the radius. Okay. All right. Now, uh, determine the focal length. Uh, he said the refractive index of the lens is two. So we have n index of lens is two. Okay. So uh, cut off this. Huh? So it's not it's not the concave. The side is the convex minus. So uh, first of all, what do we do? Okay, we draw the convex meniscus uh, diagram. This radius we don't know yet is a positive or negative value. This radius can be positive, can be negative. So how to know whether radius is positive or negative? Uh, I told you already. Yeah, uh, this one. Um, re the radius always compare with refracted ray for thin lens. 
for thin lens only the object yeah? thin lens object distance compared with incident ray uh, the image and the radius all compared with refracted ray only the object compared with incident ray the rest image and radius compared with refracted ray so radius compared with refracted ray if same side is positive opposite side uh, I, I told you now how about this okay so to know whether this radius is positive or negative and then which one is r1 which one is r2 first of all draw the draw the lens and then you must draw the object you want to draw the object at the left hand side or you want to draw the object at the right hand side also can you want to draw the object here uh, the the lion this is the tiger is it <laughs> you want to draw the tiger over here the object over here also can you want to draw the object at the at the left hand side also can uh, but if you draw the object if you draw the object at the left hand side then uh, the first surface is this one the second surface is this one. Uh, if you draw the object at the left then the inner concave is the first surface then this one become r1 and then uh, the second surface is the convex surface this one radius become r2 then, uh, but if you draw if you draw the other way, uh, if you draw, let's say, uh, still the same. Now, if you draw the tiger over here, the radius is over here, the object is over here. So, which one is the first surface? Uh, the first surface becomes the, the convex, the convex becomes the first surface. Uh, so, R2, R2 is, uh, no, this one becomes R1, really, the 5cm becomes. R1 and then this one become the second surface R2 6cm and then uh, you can say that uh, incident ray incident ray is this one and then refractor ray is this one. Uh, so it's, uh, now is our incident ray is uh, uh, now our incident ray is this one refractor ray so it's different yeah the object is over here, incident rate is here, and refractor rate is here. Uh, but if you draw the, the object the in opposite side, incident rate is this one, and the refractor rate is this one. The side also different. This one is 1, 2. Come 2, 1. Okay? R1, R2. This one become R2, R1. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, you should put the object at the left hand side or right hand side. I tell you, uh, both correct. Uh, you will surely get the same answer. No matter you put the object at the left hand side or object at the right hand side, if you use the right sequence, like object at the left hand side, it becomes 1, 2. If you put the object at the right hand side, it becomes 2, 1. Uh, if you follow the same sequence, uh, if you follow the correct sequence for each of them, in the end, your focal length is the same value for both. Same. So you you that means if you want to use this one, uh, the first one also can. You want to use the second one also can. You surely get back the same same focal length. Then so don't be afraid. Surely get the same answer. To make things easy, uh, just put the object at the just put the object at the left hand side lah. Okay, <laughs> to make things easy. But I will tell you if you put the object at the right hand side and use the correct sequence become one uh, two one uh, you surely get the same focal length uh, still still correct correct answer uh, so put the object at the right hand side also can understand so now uh, okay right off everything so let's continue yeah right, right, continue from here so i want to determine the focal length first of all must draw the object draw the incident ray and refracted ray the refractor rate already go to the other side because the lens light can pass through. Okay, so the surface that receive the surface that receive the incident ray become the first surface, uh, uh, and then the surface where the refractor ray goes out is the second surface, or you can say the surface nearest to the object is the first surface. Surface which is later is uh, further away from the object is the second surface. Okay, incident ray is the first surface, refracted ray is the second surface. Now, uh, 
I'll draw the R1, R2. The next thing I want you to draw R1, R2. Where is R1? Where is R1? Uh, this is this is the R1. So R1 is uh, this uh, this sphere. The sphere of R1 is over here. Okay. So where is R1? Uh, R1 should follow the sphere lah. R1 is over here. R1. Is that not? Use the other pen lah. So R1 is over here, R1, R1, okay? So this R1 is positive or negative? Uh, R1 which is 6 cm, is it positive or negative? Ah, remember, radius compare with refracted ray. Radius compare with, radius compare with who? Compare with refracted ray. If positive, then if, uh, if same side, if radius and refracted ray same side is positive, opposite side is negative. So, uh, radius compare with refracted ray. So now, my radius one compare with incident or refracted. Uh, my radius compare with refracted ray. So my radius one is opposite side from refracted ray. Refracted ray is at the right hand side. Radius is at the left hand side. Opposite. So this radius is negative. So this radius is, you can say is um, negative 6 cm, negative 6 cm, not positive 6 cm, it's negative 6 cm, negative value, why negative, why radius is negative, because it's opposite from refracted ray, okay, so here, uh, this, um, this one, this radius, you should put, what, negative uh, 6 cm. Okay, now how about radius 2? Where is the surface? Where is the sphere of surface 2? Surface 2 has the sphere at over here. Ah, this is the sphere of, of the second surface. My radius is also to the left hand side. Uh, my radius is also to the left hand side. So this is the radius 2. My radius 2 is also at the left hand side. Uh, use a blue color. Yeah. My radius. My radius 2. This is my radius 2. Because my surface, uh, my, my sphere is to the left hand side. So my radius also to the left hand side. So this radius is positive or negative? This radius compare with refracted ray remember radius compare with refracted ray so my radius 2 is it same side as refracted ray no oh, my refracted ray at the right hand side my radius at the left hand side so it's opposite my radius is opposite to refracted ray so it's negative radius is negative negative because opposite negative what negative 5 cm if i Cm. Negative 5 cm. Understand? So I, what I can say is both R1 and R2, um, they uh, both of them are negative. Both of them are negative because both of them opposite side from refracted ray. That's why they, both of them are negative. Okay, remember? Uh, the image and radius compare with refracted ray. Same side positive, opposite side negative. Okay, so I got, uh, okay, come on, I got my radius, got my radius, both negative value, my radius 2 is negative 5, substitute this one and substitute as negative 5 centimeter. So now, I already got my R1 and R2, now what is my N? Uh, what is N? Because uh, this uh, lens is uh, put in the air. I can say outside is air, isn't it? Outside is air equal to one. The uh, the lens, uh, the lens and lens is equal to two. Uh, so what I can say is um uh, because outside the medium is one, so that means it is uh like uh, n divided by one, or not? Uh, the one why below the n is one. This is the n of the medium, which is the air, and equal to one. So uh, on the top is only the refractive index of the lens. 
of the refractive index of the material of the lens material two okay so uh, I already got the un the value for n n is two so then we can find the focal length let's calculate uh, one over f equal to uh, two minus one uh, r one is a uh, negative six remember if you are using non si unit you need to put the not as a unit, uh, you need to write down the unit. If not, uh, you will uh, get wrong. People, uh, the examiner will minus mark. Yeah? Because he want you to remember you are using the non SI unit. Uh, don't later you change to SI unit. Uh? So, remember, uh, you must use the correct unit. So, this is negative 5 centimeter. Make, make sure you write the centimeter. Uh, because you are using non SI unit, you must waste rewrite the you must write the unit from the calculator okay if you're using okay so from here um negative 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 become positive lah yeah so here it will become uh equal to um yeah okay let me new so this one two minus one equal to one this one negative one over six m so negative negative become positive one over Five centimeter. Okay. See? So uh, this is one over f. So finally, I calculate. I will surely get f equal to. I will get f equal to a uh, positive. I got positive f. What is it mean by positive f? Uh, I got positive f thirty cm. Huh? F is positive thirty cm. What is what is it mean? It is a uh, what I can say from the negative sign. Negative f means it is a converging. Uh, this convex meniscus. This is what we call convex uh, meniscus. Convex meniscus lens is a converging lens. Uh, it can converge converge the light. Uh, okay. That's the answer. That's the answer. Okay. So uh, the light can be converged because we got uh, f equal to positive value. Uh, okay. So the question say, what's the focal length of the lens? Positive 30 cm. So the refracted ray from the lens is converged or diverged? Of course, it's converged. Explain because my f my because uh is converged because is a f positive because the value of my focal length is positive it is a con it is a converging lens because it's a converging lens that's why f positive that's why the ray uh, from the lens is converged not diverged okay because we are using for com complex meaning also you can see it's fatter at the center not fat at the side at the center means it's a converging lens f positive light is converged okay because my f is positive value that's the reason ask me to explain my explanation is my focal length is positive value that's why the light is converged f negative f negative then is the light is diverged if f is positive the light is converged converging lens Okay, so that's all for this question. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, thank you.